What's up guys? So today I'm coming at you with another swatch and review video and today it's going to be on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Lip Palette Volume 1 which leads me to believe that there's going to be Volume 2, Volume 3, I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty excited. I feel like this palette is probably going to be a makeup artist dream, but I have not touched anything. I have not swatched anything. The only thing I've done is open up the package to take some pictures before I mess it all up. The back of the palette says this 18 well professional lip palette contains a full range of lip shades to either wear alone or blend together. Bold primaries, universal neutral universal neutrals so basically the idea of this is you have all of these lip shades on the top two rows to pick from and also this one at the end and then all these are going to be some primary colors so of course just like with any lipstick you can mix and match and customize your shade but with the primary colors that it comes with you can really custom make your own colors and just literally make like a million different lipsticks out of this one palette so this is really really exciting the thing that really gravitated me towards purchasing this item is one I do freelancing and it's super easy to stay hygienic with this because you can mix it on the palette and just easy peasy but besides the freelancing what I really like just being a makeup enthusiast is that I can custom make like really off the wall colors but it's hard for me to you know put $20 down on a lipstick shade that I'm maybe only going to wear once or twice. I'll double check on the price in a minute but I think it was about $45 and you can make any color that you want and you're not stuck with that kind of what's the word I'm looking for you're not stuck with that commitment you know and I paid $48 not only for 18 different lipsticks but a ton of other lipsticks because I can mix them. So as I mentioned, it comes with your little palette, really pretty Anastasia logo on it, very professional. Comes with a little metal scraper and a lip brush on the end, so that is very, very handy. So the idea of mixing them is you would, you know, scrape out some, put it on your palette, you wanna clean it off, you wanna clean this little scraper off because you don't want to make a freaking mess. That was my first impression when I seen this online. I was like, holy shit, I would have that palette looking such a mess. But you just have to make sure that you clean off in between every kind of um, dip into the product. I don't know why I can't speak right now. So I'm really excited to dig into these. My face makeup is going to look a hot damn mess. I know that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to go ahead and start out with shade number one, which does look like a really pretty pink color. I have my alcohol spray to keep things hygienic, but I'm going to be removing the lipsticks in between with this simple micellar water. All right, guys, so this is it, and let's go ahead and take a tiny bit of this first one. Make sure that you wipe off your spatula before you start applying because it will get all over your hand. It is really pretty. Now it's not something that I typically go for because I don't know I just don't like pink lipsticks on my skin tone. I love it on other girls with fair skin but it's not for me. But the nice thing is is I could mix in a brown or a you know darker burgundy shade and create a whole different lip color. I actually like this color on me just not with the green highlight on the inner corner and on my face. Jax, no, no. So let's see. Jax, no. It is definitely. Jax, shut up. No! It is definitely a comfort matte formula. So let's do a little kiss test. Not really much transfer. So I really, really like the formula so far. Let's move on to the next shade. Okay, so next we're going to go with shade number two. Just going to go ahead and wipe the excess on my lips. So I have to wash this anyways. Okay. 
Okay, and this is shade number two. Okay, and so we can get through as many swatches as I possibly can without my lips falling off. <laughs> I'm going to just fast forward the rest with some music. So let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of the colors.
about 18 lipsticks later, two hours later, I don't even know. I mean guys, that session was intense. Like. Whoa. We have swatched every single lip shade from this palette and I'd have to say I am so, 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 so highly impressed with this palette. All the colors were so, so nice. I have a few favorites, which you can kind of tell in my reactions. I love number two. I love number 11. The black was amazing. The blue was like freaking just the best thing ever. Overall, I liked most of all the shades. The only one, which you can probably tell from my reaction in the swatches that I did not like by itself was the primary, what is that? Primary four shade, which is the yellow shade. It was the only one out of all of the shades that seemed to me not very smooth, but this is definitely one of the primary shades that you'll be using to mix with others to create your own custom shade. So it is definitely a mixing color to me, not something I would wear on its own. The finish is very comfortable. It's not like a drying matte. Again, I haven't had it on my lips like longer than a few minutes at a time time just because I've been trying to finish these swatches. Now do I think that this is going to be something for the everyday girl? No. And the reason that I say that is because unless you want to buy little containers and make enough of your batch to scrape into like a little travel size container, you'll be able to create your lip color but you won't be able to touch up throughout the day. Probably not something the average woman is going to do, but for makeup enthusiasts like myself who want to try different colors and different shades all the time, or for especially makeup artists, I think this is an amazing item, very innovative, like literally I'm never going to have the problem again where I don't have a lip color to match the rest of my makeup. Like that's never gonna happen ever again. That's amazing. But guys, let me know which color was your favorite and let me know some mixtures that I can possibly do in my next video because I'm not really good with like mixing colors. I remember playing with different paints and stuff like that in art school in middle school, in art class in middle school and I remember just mixing a whole bunch of stuff together, but I kept coming up with brown and I was like, what the fuck? Not really good at this. But for now, this guys is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. But even, but, uh, formula, the, formula that, hot, hot pinks. I don't know what that means. And I am already prepared. I have my um, alcohol. No, hold on. As well as I also have a disinfectant just in case. I have coconut oil just in case. Will you go ahead and make the brownies? What? I'm really hungry right now and this color reminds me of macaroni and cheese for some reason. It doesn't look like macaroni and cheese, but I'm that hungry. <sighs> This is the one I've been dreading the most. White. It's gonna make my teeth look yellow. Might have overdrawn my lips a little too much. <coughs> Alright, and this is... Make sure I don't have any on my, on my teeth. What if I just left it like that? Is that okay? Okay guys, so 18 liquid... No, stop saying liquid lipsticks. But yeah, I'm about to wash my face because it feels really nasty. Like, there's just so much going on in this lower half of my face right now. R.I.P. lips.